marijuana. to smoke some marijuana. Um, but I, I also like cannabis too. It's like the names aren't important. Mm -hmm. What's important is like that people like this Jack Harrow guy. See if you can pull up that book because it's a very good book. Um, where he talks about, uh, he, he actually had this video that they had made in like the World War One or World War Two. Um, it was hemp for victory, and it was telling farmers to grow marijuana. Like marijuana, like the plant marijuana is also hemp. Yeah. Right. So what what marijuana is is a psychoactive female version of a very similar plant. And so now they've kind of engineered hemp so it doesn't have any THC in it. Yeah. So you can't smoke the hemp. But that hemp is what they were fighting. They weren't really fighting marijuana. They were fighting hemp because it's a superior textile. It makes the best, most durable clothes. Yeah. It makes a far superior paper. You could use it to build houses with. Why doesn't everybody use hemp then? It should be. It should be well, one. It but also, why, not, why not the switchover? Because there's a lot of moving pieces when it comes to things like this. There's a lot of moving pieces that are in gear. They're moving. So hemp is now legal in the United States. Right. So then the industry has to kind of build up and you have to have manufacturing. If New you really want to do it, and... if you really want to hire skilled labor to yeah. make hemp clothes that you built here in America. Now it's possible. But at on it, we used to have to buy our hemp from Canada because you couldn't grow it in the United States, even though it was legal because it wasn't psychoactive. So we had hemp protein powder. Oh, and we God. used to have to get it grown in Canada. That's crazy. We couldn't even hire, we couldn't even hire an American farmer to grow it. Yeah, I know that hemp is also um, like the clothes are anti. It's like antibacterial, antifungal. Yeah. Anti what? I didn't know yeah. any of this. Yeah, yeah they it's make hemp geese. Yeah. yeah. What? They're, they're, yeah, I mean, I have a hemp gee. Yeah, Datsura. Does it? It's the shit. Does you it can smell find them less? Online. They're, it's just, they're just real durable, like real fucking durable. Like the only thing that's gonna break is the threads, and then you right. just restitch it. Like that cloth is not ripping; it's it's really fucking strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, hemp is a weird thing. Like my friend Todd McCormick had a stalk of hemp on his desk. He's like, "Pick this up." I picked it up. <laughs> and I was like, "What the fuck, man? It weighs nothing." It was hard. Really? It was hard like oak, but it weighed nothing. It weighed wow. nothing. It wow. was like balsa wood. I feel like we we need to get up on hemp. See if you can see like a fat hemp stalk, like that. So that's the stuff that they turn into clothing. So they strip it away, and it's like it's a very difficult process. And for the longest time, they they were doing it with slave labor. And then when the cotton gin came along, the cotton gin made it easier to process cotton. Mm -hmm. oh. And so it wasn't until the decorticator was invented. And the decorticator was a new method to effectively process hemp fiber with a machine. So they had this machine that's going to strip it down. Because otherwise they were using, like, people were pounding on it right. and shit. Wow. So this in, was invented, and then all the reefer madness shit came out. Because there was a thing that was, oh, a, so I think it was Popular the... Science Magazine. See if that, hemp, the new billion dollar crop. See if you can find that. Then they had the two and they just chose the cotton because there was no drama was behind easier. there. It wasn't just, it was no, no, it was the people that, it was William Randolph Hearst was one of them. So William Randolph Hearst owned Hearst Publications. Look, billion dollar crop. It was on the cover of the magazine. See if you can find the cover because it's kind of hilarious to see that, that they have this, this story about this new billion dollar crop yeah. hemp i mean it's really wild shit yeah that's wild well so now can can anyone maybe, grow I'm, wrong. maybe I'm wrong maybe it was on the cover but that's the story right there hemp the billion wild. dollar crop god i swear it was on the cover but i have a fucked up memory sometimes hemp fiber being delivered from machines ready for bailing piles of pulverized herds beside machine is 77 percent cellulose so they strip it down with that machine. And they, so they immediately were like, okay, now we, we're going to have, you know, this stuff that's lighter, it's better, it's stronger. It's really like a fucking alien plant. It's real weird. It's, when it you is. pick it up, it feels weird. 